Machu Picchu is one of the seven wonders of the world and the most visited tourist attraction in Peru. So on my solo trip, of course, I plan to hike to one of the most famous sites in South America. I booked my tour with Alpaca Expeditions, a 100% Peruvian owned and operated tour company. And I was down for the adventure no matter what obstacles got in the way. But unlike my other hikes and after hearing about how the altitude sickness affects 40 to 50% of tourists in Peru, I decided to prep. I'm from Flatland, Milwaukee, so I worked up to one hour on the Stairmaster to prepare my lungs, core, and legs for the hike. A mix of trains, hiking, more hiking, and buses. Let's go to Machu Picchu. Good morning. As you can see, I am all ready for Machu Picchu. It is 3.30 in the morning. The bus should be here around 4. I tried to get some sleep, but I, honestly, I'm very nervous. I thought I was going to oversleep and I just don't know what to expect. But yes, I'm up. I'm ready. I'm dressed. The outfit's giving hiker girl, travel girl, all my new hiking clothes. I'm so excited. I will say I already feel pretty warm in this fleece and stuff and I went back to Alpaca Expedition's office to ask them about like what I should wear and he said it gets a little warm on this route. It's not the four day or five day trek. It's only two days one night so I'm very interested to see how my layers hold up because he made it seem like it wasn't going to be super cold which is what I expected. I honestly can't believe I'm about to check Machu Picchu off of my bucket list. I've been learning about Peru since my Spanish classes. I know 10 year old me is just so proud of us right now which is pretty cool. <laughs> With Alpaca Expeditions, I booked the two-day, one-night hike with a hotel. So we got a very early start to Oyatantambo in order to take the Inca Rail Voyager train to the start of our hike. I love this tour because it was a mix of getting the hiking experience, getting the train experience, and also getting the bus experience. The train ride in the beginning was about an hour or so, so not very long, and it came with a cute little show. It wasn't the most comfortable train ride, so I am glad I upgraded to the one I will show you on the end with Peru Rail, but we did make it and the hike finally began. to the hiking volcano Acatenango in Guatemala is that they have a lot of stops and as you can hear I'm out of breath so it is really nice and they're like okay you have 30 to 45 minutes to like go at your own pace so I don't feel pressure to be first which is nice <laughs> 
Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So people visit Machu Picchu more, more than Machu. Rainbow Mountain. Okay, so for this part, he told me I should crawl. So we are going to crawl. Because when your tour guide tells you to do something for your safety, I, for one, am going to do it. But honestly, I may not have to crawl. Let's see. Ooh. Just kidding. Okay. wasn't too bad he told me to crawl and I did but I probably could have walked <laughs> but it's fine oh. and this is the two-day one night hike so it's not the full four or five day hike you may have seen so I don't know if that means it's like easier or just a different route but I think like I'm obviously breathing relatively heavy, but I don't think like it's like I don't feel tired if that makes sense. Like I'm just breathing hard because I need to breathe to like do the hike, but it's not like I'm breathing so hard I need to stop. steps very narrow very steep very out of breath oh my gosh okay let's go we go up that way i don't know that's why i waited oh we go that way this way please this way intake a little information about this beautiful place okay We made it. Oh, yes. Barely. <laughs> so in this case, they were doing their own expedition, but as well following the same way that this. Just completed the hardest part, probably the steepest part. It did get a little cold and rainy, so I had to put my jacket back on, but that was a lot. Them steps was a lot, my gosh. But we made it. We're about 15 minutes, possibly maybe 10, away from lunch because your girl's hungry. So, yeah, it's been really good. I'm, I'm surprised. I think doing the Stairmaster for, you know, since May really did pay off. I made it to an hour before I left home on the Stairmaster from level 7 to 14. And I feel like I really did that because it feels so different from Guatemala last year. So yes, we made it. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. <laughs> Oh. Oh snap. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. 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 One of my favorite and probably most surprising parts of the hike was the lunch. I had the expectation that we were going to eat sandwiches and chips, but Peru does hike in a little bit different, y'all. Actually, a lot of bit different. They had an entire spread for us. Ceviche, beef, vegetables, rice, chicken, so many different options. And we also had people of varying diets on the trip. We had some vegetarians as well as someone who was gluten free and they were able to accommodate everyone 
I love the communal style eating, which made for great conversation to talk about the tour and how we were feeling, of course, in between stuffing our faces. So shout out to the Alpaca Expedition chefs who have to carry all of this up here every tour. You are appreciated. We are on the last like two or three hours of the hike. The morning wasn't too bad, honestly. Lunch was delicious. I am a little sleepy, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really excited to get to Machu Picchu. This part is about an hour, hour and a half, and then we have 45 minutes to then like descend to Machu Picchu, I believe. We'll see if I heard him correctly. So I'm very excited, not as out of breath as I thought I was gonna be. In pretty good shape, I did have one slip that kind of scared somebody on the tour. He was really nervous, but uh, he caught my arm. So yeah, be careful out here, especially if you're coming in their wet season, which is right now. Make sure you have hiking shoes and really good tread on them. So I'm going to keep walking and hopefully not get too out of breath. According to that sign back there, we are one kilometer away, which is 0.6 or 0.7 miles away from the sun gate. So huh, these stairs though are gonna be deaf of me. Take a little break. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm taking a break right here for a second. Also, if you couldn't tell, I had to put on my raincoat or rain jacket. I highly recommend one because it was raining earlier, but now I'm kind of hot, so we're gonna take off some layers. I climbed up those stairs. It is so narrow and cloudy. You can barely see anything. definitely stink but we are about to approach the sun gate <sighs> mom mom yes say hi to youtube i'm putting my video say hey I had to call her because I have service to show her that I made it. So, my mommy. <laughs> but it's there <laughs> I cannot believe I hiked to see Machu Picchu in my lifetime It. it's so nice I started to do the camping but I'm really glad I didn't because it's raining and this hotel room is super super dope so I'm very excited to be relaxing we have dinner in, in about an hour so I'm going to just kick it rest my feet I took off my hiking boots and pants and my shirt so your girls relaxing yeah I'm feeling very accomplished 
and very grateful for this experience. It definitely, I'm glad I did not do the four to five day hike because one day of hiking was more than enough for me and I felt like you get a really good mix of hiking and taking the bus and the train experience. So if you are someone who's like, I'm not doing that four day hike, you do not have to. Alpaca Expeditions has the two day, one night with the hotel or camping option and thus far, I would recommend them. Tomorrow is our kind of get cute, take some more photos, do an actual tour of Machu Picchu before we take the train to go back to Cusco. So let's relax, okay? Let's relax, cause we earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it is the final day of my Machu Picchu adventure. My bag is all packed. It's about five o'clock in the morning. My tour guide Alex will be here to get us at six o'clock. So I'm going to go upstairs or downstairs to go eat some breakfast. I have on this cute little, uh, I don't know if it's a poncho or a wrap, I guess, that I got in Cusco because they said we're something nice for this day since yesterday was the intense hiking day. Today's the day to get better pictures and do the actual tour of Machu Picchu. And it ends with a train ride back to where we started as well as the bus back to Cusco. So a very full day, not as intense as yesterday, but again, cannot believe I'm at Machu Picchu. Side note, this hotel is really nice. I'm very impressed with the quality of the hotel. I'm gonna put how much the tour cost somewhere over here, but I think it's a really great price. I did have to pay extra for a single room, so I am a solo traveler. It was about $50, and because I upgraded my train ticket to like the Vista Dome train, I had to pay additional $75 for that. So if you're interested in traveling with Alpaca Expeditions, just know there might be some additional charges. But overall, love it. Had a great night's sleep in that big old bed. And I'm just ready to get the day started. I feel very well rested. Got a great night's sleep. The dinner was delicious last night. So let's enjoy this last day in Machu Picchu land. <laughs> While there isn't a lot of hiking on the second day, you do learn a lot. So once you finish breakfast, your tour guide from Alpaca Expeditions comes and gets you and we head back on the bus from Aguas Calientes back to Machu Picchu and we learn more about the history of Machu Picchu. I think a lot of people forget that this is where people used to live and even though it's more of a tourist attraction now, there is so much rich culture and history and tradition here in Machu Picchu and Alex, my tour guide, did a great job of explaining it all. But what I think is most remarkable about Machu Picchu is how the communities here have preserved what it looks like. This was built around 1450 AD. So the fact that it's still up and running and very well maintained, I think is a testament to how Peruvians and descendants of the Incas are very protective of their history, of their culture, and want to honor it, but at the same time are willing to maintain it in a way for tourists like me to be able to experience it and learn more about their history. So I always remember to be respectful and listen closely because there's so much to learn.
Boarding my train back was a smooth and easy process. I even got to drink a Spanish wine that I haven't had since I lived in Spain in 2017. So I took my glass and sat back, relaxed, and enjoyed the view. It was an incredible experience. I loved hiking Machu Picchu. I loved the buses. I loved the trains. I loved the food and, of course, the entertainment. So on this Peru Rail Vistadone train back from Machu Picchu to Cusco, you get some entertainment entertainment, some dancing, a fashion show, and of course, riding through the Peruvian hills once again, as well as some rivers are in there too. It was a great end to a wonderful bucket list experience, and I hope you enjoyed following along with me. As always, stay curious, and I will see you all on my next hike, which will be Rainbow Mountain.